Hi. In this video, I will tell you about solid profile 3D. As you see on the picture, it just moves uh, bottom of the wall or uh, up of the wall. You can use uh, as planar mill instead of planar mill actually. I just specify a wall and click generate and get a profile move at the bottom of the wall you can change the engage arc move to linear and generate you can make mult you can uh, give offsets uh, it is uh, just uh, at the bottom of the wall and you can give three two millimeters offset and minus three to up you can make multiple passes first you should measure the length Okay, and generate. It makes 20 passes uh, that will count 46 millimeters. Okay, but it always leads to the clearance plane. and it will waste too much time what you can do you can change the clearance plane like this 10 millimeters and clearance shortest dis distance and zero the height and the tools just move the side, not up, as you can see. But if you want to make a mixed move, you must change it to mixed and click generate to eliminate these moves. You can change direct and it will just move on the wall no any lifting but uh, the mixed we talked it before the mixed uh, strategy isn't good for the tool and the parts but uh, if uh, if you measure the time, you can use it. We can make side moves. For example, two millimeter along and one millimeter pass. You can do this, and you can do both depth and side in this time the sequence is important side passes first look from side when you choose it it will first do the side uh, passes first but if you change it to depth first it will make the depth passes first and then it will make the side pass after the depth
it may get direct move to the other side pass. You can change it. To the clearance tool axis, let's see. We need to change. It changes all the lifts. Clearance tool axis. Okay, now. It will make a, uh, it won't make a direct move to the other pass. It make lifting move and then go to the finishing pass. Okay, we can choose the all of the walls. and make the uh, finishing of all the walls as I told before we were doing it with uh, planar milling and it is still very common planar milling but you can use solid profile 3d for this wall finishing or roughing let's look at other parts I want to finish the inside walls with solid profile 3d and click generate it starts from the starting of the wall but if I click here for example 3 millimeter extent if it extends uh, the uh, start and end cutting move uh, but if you want to uh, merge the uh, merge the start and end you must write very big uh, extend value on in here and you can have it merge the start and end let's look at the last parts There is a, a formed wall here. The bottom is formed. And I can move the tool along the bottom, formed bottom. I click generate. And can see that the tool moves along the bottom. But it doesn't it doesn't cut the blend. So I give one millimeter offset because the tool diameter is two. One millimeter offset, and can see that it fits to the uh, blend. We make a formed move. These are done with curve point method uh, now, but you can use solid profile 3D for a faster operation. It is all for solid profile 3D. You can use it against a uh, planar mill instead of planar mill. Uh, as you can see, you just select the walls and click generate, and if you want. Uh, you make multiple passes you use multiple passes uh, you can't do this formed walls uh, with planar mill because it is planar as uh, its name uh, you can just do it with solid profile 3d or with curve points thank you for watching if you have questions please ask on comments